welcome again to Pajama Prayers. It's so good to have you. I look forward to every Saturday night when we get together and we have a nice time watching Pajama Prayers. So thank you for being here. Um, we have something special we're going to start off with tonight. We had one of our friends had a birthday and our little friend's name is Beckett. And Beckett turned four years old. He's getting so big and growing up so nicely. So we're going to say happy birthday to Beckett on three. Get our birthday hand out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Beckett! Very good. I hope he had a great day. Something else unusual happened this week. I got some mail. Two friends, two envelopes, and I'm going to open them. This one right here I'm going to open first. It says, to Pastor PJ. That's me. Opening it up. And look, look at the envelope. Isn't it so cool? So it's a little note like this. And on my note, this is what it says. I love you, Pastor PJ. Thank you for teaching me. And it is signed, Love, Audrey. Audrey is one of our friends that watches all the time. Audrey, thank you so much. That was such a sweet note and that was so encouraging. And I appreciate it. And then we have another one from her brother. And let's see, her brother's name is Oliver. Oliver watches with us too. And his looks like it's not to PJ, but it is to God. And his note says, God, I love you, Oliver. That was a great note. And you know what? God loves you too. Way to go. So thank you, Audrey and Oliver. Thank you for those notes. That was so sweet and such a great surprise. Tonight, we're not going to play the hello game. Instead, we're going to play a new game. It's called Hidden Pictures. And in this game, we show a video and an object is shown to you and you are given just a little bit of time to look at the whole picture and find that object. You've probably played it before. It's a fun game. Is everybody ready? Let's play. Can you find a scarf? Where is the slice of pizza? Can you find an ice skate? Can you find the fish? Where is the slice of watermelon? What about a mitten? Do you see an envelope? Where is the sock? Do you see a spoon? Can 
Can you find the comb? What about a paintbrush? Can you find a baseball bat? Do you see a wishbone? Job. Boys and girls, I love that game. I love to play hidden pictures. I think it's so fun searching for all those little objects in that big picture. I have a great time and I hope you had a great time as well. Now let's talk about going back to school or going to school. It's coming up soon. And I have a few cards here for reminders. Now we've been talking about friendship. We've talked about what makes a good friend. You know, like friends make each other better, like peanut butter and jelly and chips and salsa. Remember that lesson? And then we talked about um, how to be a good friend. We also talked about how to solve conflicts or how to turn an enemy into a friend. So I have some cards here of some things that we can do, just some reminders to make friendship and going back to school easy for you. First of all, my first card, I can, I can card says, I can show a friend how to do something. That's great, right? The next thing we can do, I can take turns with my friend. Oh, that makes a really good friend. Friends love it when you take turns. Another thing, I can have a friend even if we're different. That's so true, boys and girls. Your friend doesn't have to be exactly like you in order to be a good friend. So you don't always have to look for someone that looks like you or acts like you. You can find a friend that's different and they can still be a very good friend. Here's another one. It says, I can wave and smile to a friend. Hi, friend like I'm waving to you right now and smiling. Another card we have, another idea is this one. I can invite my friends to play. You can say, hey friend, can you come over and play with me? And you share your toys and that makes for a fun time. This one says, oops, drop those. This one says, I can listen when my friend is speaking. Boys and girls, that's a very good idea for a very good friend. When someone else is talking, don't butt in. Listen carefully to them. That's so very friendly. And the last suggestion I have is I can use kind words with my friends and that's a great idea boys and girls use your kind words with your friends don't be cross and say unkind or mean things to them and i think with that you are ready to start school and i think that you are going to make lots of good friends hope you have some of you have started this week but some of you Still have another week before you start. So tonight's story is about a little girl that went to kindergarten. Her name is Amanda Panda. And this story, the title of the story is Amanda Panda Quits Kindergarten. And I think from the title of the story, we can tell that things probably didn't go very well for Amanda. Let's watch it and see what happens.
Amanda Panda Quits Kindergarten by Candace Ranson. Amanda Panda's favorite color is brown. She wants to be a school bus driver when she grows up. She can run really fast, but only downhill. And she cannot wait to start kindergarten. When she gets to school, she will print her name in big, important letters on the board so the whole class will know who she is. Next, she will build the tallest block tower. Finally, she will run the fastest of anyone. Her brother Lewis did all of those things when he was in kindergarten. Amanda will do them too. On the first day of school, she buttons her dress. She slips Hartley, her favorite rock, into her backpack. She ties her zippiest sneakers. No hair bows, she tells her mother. Ribbons will just slow Amanda down. Lewis leaves for school without her. Wait, cried Amanda, and she raced to catch up, but it's uphill. I'm meeting my friends, he says. At the bus stop is a girl in head-to-toe pink. So much pink, it gives Amanda a headache. Amanda claims the seat behind the bus driver so she can watch him steer. Something very pink sits beside her. I'm Bitsy, said Bitsy. I like all the colors on your dress. Now it would be kind to return the compliment. My favorite color is sparkles, Bitsy adds. Amanda Panda does not feel like being kind. So she looks out the window and studies the road. At school, Amanda dashes to room one. Bitsy is already there. Daisies, says Ms. Lemon. Their teacher, Bitsy, how sweet. Amanda finds a desk close to the board, near the building center, far from Bitsy. But then something very pink slides next to her. Neighbors, said Bitsy. Ugh, it's the end of the world. Let's print our names on the board, Ms. Lemon says. We'll get to know each other. Amanda waves her hand, but Bitsy goes first. She prints B-I-T-S-Y in big, important letters right in the middle of the board. When Amanda is called, there is only one little corner left when no one can even see her name. Next, it's building center time. Amanda grabs the large blocks. She stacks block upon block in a tall, teetering tower. I'm making a kitty castle, says Bitsy. How sweet, said Miss Lemon. Crash! Ms. Lemon frowns. Not so many blocks, Amanda. At recess, Amanda sprints past Bitsy, who plays princess with the other girls. Race you, she challenges Jasper. To the swings, he says. Get set, go. Amanda is wearing her zippiest sneakers and the swings are down here. So she'll win easy. But then, Amanda trips over a princess. Her knees hit the ground. Bitsy hurries over. Are you okay? Amanda is not okay. She lost the race. Her tower fell. And no one knows who she is, except for Bitsy. 
Why are you wearing flowers? Amanda asked. I'm head princess, said Bitsy. It is definitely the end of the world. Miss Lemon's whistle shrills. The recess is over. Amanda does not want to go back to class. She doesn't want to be in kindergarten anymore. Line up, Miss Lemon says. A line, please, not a mob. Suddenly, Amanda has a plan. No one sees Amanda switch lines. No one sees her go down the main hall and turn left. And no one sees her walk into Lewis's classroom. Amanda takes an empty seat beside her brother. What are you doing here, he whispers. I quit kindergarten, said Amanda. The second grade room is very quiet. Everyone is reading. The chairs are big and her feet don't touch the floor. There are hard words on the board that she can't read. And there is no building center. Amanda's stomach feels cold. Can I help you, dear? Lewis's teacher asks. Yes, something very pink sobs in the doorway. Oh my, Lewis's teacher said. Are all the kindergartners in the wrong room today? Bitsy, what are you doing here? asked Amanda. I tried to find you, but, but then I got lost and now I'll never see Miss Lemon in my kitty castle again. Bitsy looks so small and helpless. You quit kindergarten to find me? Amanda asked. Bitsy hiccups. Don't worry, I've got this, Amanda says to Lewis's teacher. She hops out of the chair and skips to the door. Amanda takes Bitsy's hand, turns right, then leads her down the main hall. It doesn't hurt one bit to be kind. And second grade can wait. No one notices that they are late. Amanda slides into her seat. Her sneakers tap comfortably on the floor. And on the board, her name seems to sparkle. Bitsy sits next to her. Thanks, Bitsy says. I want you to have this. Bitsy's pink hair bow is a burst of bright color against Amanda's white fur. Suddenly, Amanda thinks of a new plan. Tomorrow, she will build a garage for Bitsy's kittens, and she will try to run halfway up the hill. Neighbors, Bitsy says. Friends, says Amanda. And it is not the end of the world. The End Boys and girls, what about that story and what about that Amanda Panda? Wasn't she something? She didn't start out very friendly, did she? No, she wasn't even very friendly at all. And then, after a while in the story, I noticed that she changed her attitude and that's when things turned around for her. We have a scripture for that tonight and it is in the book of Proverbs, the middle of the Bible. It's in Proverbs 18 and verse 24, and this is what it says. Pay close attention. It says, a man who has friends must show himself friendly. Hmm. So basically, if you want a friend, you really have to be friendly yourself, don't you? And that's what Amanda Panda found out. We're going to pray and we're going to ask Jesus to help us this week to be friendly. Are you ready? Bow your heads with me, please. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your love to us. And we ask you, as we get ready to start school, Lord, that you will help us to be friendly, that we will reach out to others with our kind words and our compliments, that we will share our toys, and that we will just be a good friend. And we know that you will help us in this. In your name we ask it. Amen. Boys and girls, that's all the time we have. And I thank you for joining me. Join me next Saturday, 7 o'clock, again for Pajama Prayers, and we have a great story.
Say to your friend, you are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Boys and girls, I love you to pieces. Have a great week. Thank you.